<laughs> Tell me that isn't Dr. Hall. Um, Something is going on between them. He never turned down after work drink and debrief. And what a good listener. She's here for one reason. You. Any trust issues here are all yours. If you think you're stopping me from socialising with Bethany, you can think again. Ross said Bragg's insurance that everyone gets one. Yeah, but I couldn't just walk out my patient, could I? Well, you need to let me know you were stuck. OK, well, can you cover for me now? I've just had to send Louise on a break. I can't cover you both. Yeah, but it's really quiet, and I just need to get to the bank before it closes. I'll dash out and be back before no, you... because if something happens, we won't be covered. This is why everyone needs to stick to the system. Doctor. Oh, I could really, really, really hate her. It's not her fault. Yeah, it is. She's single and bitter and taking it out on us. She's not. She's doing her best to help. OK, look, I know you're the new recruit and you want the boss to like you, but enough of the sucking up. Why would she feel in nurses' time she's for them if she didn't care? You know, I specifically asked you not to mention that. Now none of them will bother. It'll be, oh, let Vasa do it. She needed to know you are a caring manager. No, she didn't. Saying it undermines me. You have undermined me. How can I make it up to you? You want to help? Anything. Keep an eye on the nurses. See if they're sticking to the roster. You want me to spy on them? Yes. Do you have plans for tonight? I am making some uh, Romanian stuffed cabbage rolls. And before you ask, I am not forcing Luke to eat them. He asked for them. They sound tasty. They are. Oh, hey, your dad said to say he'll be in theatre for another half an hour or so. Oh, yay. You seem a bit dark on it today. I was sitting in the graveyard for hours. We'll do that to you. Oh, yeah. It's Jasmine's new thing. Graveyards? Uh, graveyards, morbid poetry. Anything to do with death. Nick should be hanging out with the goth kids at school, too. Uh, I suppose because she's just had a near-death experience. You know, it makes sense she's depressed. Not depressed, just into depressing stuff. I get it, but I don't get why she's angry that her mates aren't into it, too. Safe to interrupt? Depends. Are you grumpy? Very. <laughs> oh, your shout is it, oops. Good idea, then I won't feel so guilty gossiping about your ex-wife in front of you. <laughs> oh, what has she done now? Oh, she's decided all breaks on the ward will be rostered by her. Glad I'm an ED. Oh, even with Dr. Delicious. Well, then again, I hear Vas is not as hard-nosed as we all think. Are you kidding? I mean, as far as power trips go, this one's pretty massive. Mm, I think it's all an act. Oi, Winston! Back me up. Vinny thinks Vassa is an absolute dragon, but she's not, eh? What makes you say that? Well, you told me that she'd been filling in our timesheet, so we all got paid properly. And she has? Yeah, and if that doesn't scream softy, then I don't know what does. I never said Vasa was soft, only that she's fair and a good manager. We should all listen to her and obey your rules. Huh? Nah, because I know a million ways to get around this break roster. She'll never know. <laughs> Boom! You're paying that Panini a lot of attention. Hey. Looking at it up and down, practically salivating at the thought. I bet it's yum, too. If I was the jealous type, I'd be staring you in the direction of the whole meal sandwich section. Well, you could. Although this panini looks pretty good. But does that mean I can't have it? The actual panini, not the metaphorical one. Come here. You decided against breakfast in bed, then? We decided that bed wasn't for breakfast. Cafeterias are. Sometimes it's good to keep things in their rightful boxes. Sleep, eat, work, play, blah, blah. Then, since this is the work cafeteria, does that mean we can still have that chat about the 3 two, one plan? If you two want to get started, I'll order the coffees. You sure? Of course. Long black for me, thanks. You know when she says she wants a long black, She's not talking about the coffee, eh? Well, she can want all she likes. Their relationship is strictly professional. I feel like I barged in on you a couple of times. Oh, that's fine. 
I suppose Nicole knows by now it's not all fun and games working with your partner. Well, as she said, we compartmentalise. And it just so happens we work well together also. The results speak for themselves. You beat most of the EDs I've worked in hands down. What, even yours? <laughs> the thing about my ED is it's well resourced. Yours would be too if you had an extra nurse. Yes, you're telling me. Every time I raise the issue, the powers that be cry poor. That's a management mantra, isn't it? Do more with less. And at the same time, they pressure you to increase your throughput figures. Oh, like I said, I've tried. Maybe you haven't tried hard enough. Uh, maybe I'd rather put my energy into running the ED I have the best I can. Can we save the lecture? Or better yet, skip it? I'll be late for school. <sighs> but graveyards, Jess? How long do you think Phoenix is going to stick around if that's your idea of a date? Hello? I nearly died? When you've been that close to the edge, it changes you. I'm into new things now. So you're not into your old things anymore? Your old friends? You don't know what you're talking about. Because you're scared of death. It, duh! Death means dead. Duh! Why be scared of something that's inevitable? You should borrow one of the books I've been reading. Oh, Born to Die. Life is a waiting room. I think I have a copy of that at home. See? Luke's into this stuff and he's normal. Uh, still, all this reading and talking of death, it isn't right. Why not? As with all facts of life, it's better to be educated, or at the very least informed. I have quite a few books on the subject myself. Don't tell her that. Really? Do you think I could borrow some of them? Oh, here we go. Absolutely. <laughs> Go the warriors. Mm, they'll need counselling. Why in Canada? Oh, and me. Hey? No Dan Carter. We still got Colin Slade and Pity. Carter's groin is a national treasure. There are other players in the team. Jimmy Cowan. He did score a try. Redemption? No. Redemption is for really naughty boys who score four tries. Zach Guilford. Boom. Watch out, Argentina. Have you got a minute? Yeah. I hope you don't mind me showing up unannounced. I know you're a busy woman. Aren't we all? I've got a few suggestions for improving your ED. You don't muck around. Kiwis already think Aussies are pushy, so I thought I'd just go with it. So let's hear it then. Staffing levels. ED would function more efficiently and safely if you had an extra nurse per shift. Fewer mistakes are made when the nurse-to-patient ratio is higher. I've heard the same from Maxwell, and I'll give you the same response. We don't have the budget. If you lost one of the healthcare assistants, that would cover some of the shortfall, and then there are the knock-on savings that come from faster throughputs. I'll need evidence to prove the extra nurse will pay off. I've got research and results from my own ED. I'll email your increased throughput figures. I look forward to reading them. Excellent. Mr Lindsay is having his first session with the physio today. Here is the break roster. Take your breaks when stated, not earlier, not later, and not swapping with anyone else. I like knowing in advance when my break will be. It's easier to plan ahead. Yeah. Structure and routine work well for preschoolers. How are we different? Well, some of you aren't. Let's get to it. What? 12.30. So hoping to catch a gym class at 2. Ah, well, you are one lucky gym bunny because my break's at 2. Yeah. I think you should ask Kavasa if you can swap. Also, she can enjoy telling me to get lost. Pass. Vinny and I are both level four nurses. It doesn't matter which one of us is on the ward. That's not how the system works. The system works already when we've all got each other's backs. I've got yours, Winston. I don't want to lie to Vasa. And speak no evil, friend. Just. Sorry about the wait, Mrs. Collins. Uh, your x-ray shows a clinical scaphoid fracture. It's one of the bones in your wrist there, OK? Um, can you organise a scaphoid plaster, please? Sure. Just a moment, Nicole. It's standard treatment. It's a conventional treatment, but uh, the latest research shows that immobilising the thumb makes little or no difference to union. I'd suggest a below elbow plaster instead. Well, I'd rather do it my way. Given that throughputs are a concern in your department, why not try the method that's quicker to action? Because I don't think your method is the right one. Meanwhile, we're wasting time arguing the toss. Fine. If this really is as big a deal as you're making it out to be. Uh, below elbow plaster and Steve, please, Nicole. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 